Welcome back, everyone. Criminal Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. Since there was, you know, zombie situation, I figured I'd start in the menu so that we didn't accidentally get into too much trouble. So, this first bit of today's episode might not be the most exciting because I'm mostly just going to try and um, hang out and let the zombies burn out. Um, just going to try to keep them in view so that we don't get too far away because I really want to go places and I can't go places as long as this fire zombies are in a fire zombie or doing their fire zombie thing come on everybody don't run through the fire hopefully we don't run the risk where the fire doesn't load I had that in a, a few games back I had a situation where I uh I ran through fire because it hadn't loaded properly yet. Which I thought at first had just been me being dumb, but was confirmed on going back to the tape that the fire did in fact not load until after I had already run through it. Which I felt slightly heartened by. Alright, so let's see. We can slide out this way. Bunch of fire zombies up there. A small number of them that are following me this way. They are shifting. All right, let's see if we, we gotta stop these guys. I'm trying to keep um, that block of downtown from burning. From burning, if I can, considering that's where the hardware store is. Maybe a fool's errand, but who knows? Gotta try, right? Ah, my nose is super itchy today. <laughs> Always, it's always that kind of stuff always happens when I start to stop, start to record, right? Because it's like, oh, you can't, um, you can't stop and scratch your nose very easily at the moment? Oh, well, let me get all itchy for you. Alright, I'm going to just try and get in here now. I'm tired of this. Those words right there are often followed by me dying. <laughs> I'm just going to do this, I'm tired of waiting. Eh, yeah. usually ends up with somebody dead. Mostly me. Oh, uh, not unlocked. I was wondering if we might get unlucky and that door be unlocked. Run, run. Oh, hello, fire zombies. No, don't come this way. Unless you guys want to just turn to ash, which I know you will do eventually. Um, please don't come this direction. Let's check this body that's on the ground. Literally nothing on you, huh? Interesting. I probably should not take the zombies around in the direction of my home. <laughs> This is perhaps not the best plan in the world. Poor church. Alright, zombie on fire. Coming my way. See if I can get it without hurting myself. This is always the trick, right? Because they uh, they splash when they die. They splash fire around a little bit, which is not good. All right, I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna go through, cut through the place here. The place, also known as a church. Okay, zombies. Alright, I see some of them are burning out. At least... Some uh, amount of them are starting to burn out. No, no. No, no, no. Don't touch me. Alright, let's go. Let's cut through here real quick. So we'll dive in here. And we'll circle around. 
Oh, hello. You managed to not get on fire. Kudos to you. Um, I don't really know where to go. This way. All right. Hmm. You know, I had intentions to show you guys metalworking, but uh, my got a little overexcited about the whole um, Molotov cocktail thing, and now we have this mess going on. Oh, now there's a whole bunch of you that aren't even on fire. I have to get into the. See, this is what drives me a little nuts, is that, how are these, where are these non-on-fire zombies even coming from? Alright. Small number of zombies over here. At least what I thought was a small number. Alright, it's still, it's still a small number of zombies. Thought maybe there'd be more coming behind them. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. Um, you I need to deal with. Run, run, run. Stupid fire zombie. Run, 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 run. Alright, come on. Uh, now we have another fire zombie. Jesus. Fire, fire, fire. Such an issue. So, any of you that told that told me not to, to do this, or, well, I mean, I guess I didn't even ask this time, did I? I just kind of did it. Um, any of you that gave me a hard time in the comments about doing this, um, you were right. <laughs> Let's just drink this soda. So most of those zombies saw me go through the building, which means that's the direction they'll head. Let's deal with this guy since he's here. I just need some space. Like I, I, I want to, I want to break down that door and get into the, um, into the uh, the whatever the place is called the hardware store but I just need a little bit of room a little bit of room to work the damn zombies won't give me a space all right let's try to not get seen by any of these guys seems like it's getting dark too all right There are zombies inside. Like this is this is not going to be a, a nice nice place when we get in there. Oh, come on, it's just the two of you. Oh nope, there's more than just the two of them. Oh nope, that was also wrong. Um, yikes! That was not the right door either, was it? <laughs> That's the door. That must be the door down there that I want. All right, you guys, come with me. All right, so let's see. These guys are almost burned out. Of course, we've just created some more by accident. So I feel like this is a good example for anyone who thinks that fire is overpowered, is that it will kill zombies, but it takes frickin' forever, and you just can't get away from it. Like, it's just, just non-stop. At this point, I kind of wish it would start raining so that the zombies would stop. I'm 
Okay, back to the house. That was uh, not a very, very good use of time, was it? Um, what do we need to do? Well, I need to eat some food, probably. What do we want to eat? Uh, let's eat the, no, it's not the sunflower seeds. Let's eat the pineapple. All right, so we will sit down and rest. Um, I don't really know, obviously, what time of day it is because we don't have a watch or a clock of any variety. Hopefully we find one in a bit. Exertion is not going away as fast as I would like. Come on, we're resting. There you go. What's happening out here? That one zombie that's on fire is attracting a whole bunch of others. And so, in short order, we're going to have a whole bunch of new zombies that are on fire. I hope there was nothing we wanted in this uh, <laughs> this apartment complex. It's actually, it was not apartment, it's, uh, it's offices. So it's not really as useful. Don't see me, I'm just passing by. All right. Cool. Of course, there's a big crowd of zombies around the place I want to go. Hmm. Oh! That was a very surprising crawler. Was not expecting that <laughs> at all. <laughs> no, no. Stay down. No, I want you to stay down. That's what I like to see. All right, nothing. No watches, no anything. We got four more. Do I have any knives on me? Oh, I do have a screwdriver. Let's see if we can speed this process up a little bit. Next. That's weird that this crawler down here in the corner is glitching up. It's crawling, but it's not actually going anywhere. <laughs> Oh, hello. Must have come out of that window over there. Right. Let's see if we can take this guy out. Nope, not close enough. There we go. Antidepressants. I'm starting to feel like I could use some of those the way this is going. Run, 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 run. Alright, nothing, nothing. I'm really scared I'm going to miss a watch because I think it's a wallet. Because those two words are close to each other. I think maybe we were supposed to go in this door? I'm gonna wear this bat out. Come on, just break. Break. I know there's a bunch of zombies in there. And the light just, the, z the firelight just, yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, 
Oh crap, they just fell out of the upper story windows. Alright. Hmm. Alright, let's equip this. I think I can pull this off. They seem to be spreading out enough that this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, unless I screw it up like that. Yeah, or like that. Run, run, run! Ah, I got hit! Fuck! Scratched. Alright. Oh, can't call it, can't throw in the towel yet. We got it scratched. It's not the end of the world. I mean, it might be, but you never know. Condition's terrible. I'm not even taking that. Alright, so let's, uh, disinfect it. Use a bandage. Alright. All right, um, well, let's go back to our ho house for now. Looks like the fire situation has pretty much resolved itself at this point. For better or for worse, probably for worse. Two bad hits, like that's the risk of the, uh, that's the risk of the, the knife attack, is that stuff like that happens. But I feel like um, I'm due to have one of these actually go my way because I've had like several scratches in a row now that um, have ended in death, and it's only like a 20 20 percent chance or something like that of, of getting zombified. So I feel like we're due for one that goes our way. But we'll find out in a day or so. Let's eat. Gotta eat up. I think she needs a slice of cake after the day that she's had. Trying and failing to make it into the place again. I need that damn hardware store. I'm probably harping on it too much, but I really do need to get in there. I need equipment. Oh, there's yogurt in here. That should not be in there. That should be in here. Yogurt. Yogurt. There it is. Except for one of those. I should eat one of those. Gotta keep our healing up. Alright, I guess while we're waiting for our... Oh, there's our bandage went bad. Uh, disinfect it. Slap uh, another bandage on it, I guess. Alright, let's read our cooking book while we're waiting on this thing. Waiting for her to get tired, for the bandage to go bad. These are the things that, that, that we're waiting on. I do think I may have picked out a place for us to live, by the way, but I don't know. I've got two options. One's a little riskier, and I guess we'll have to scout out and see if it's even possible, because it might be a little overrun. The other one is, alright, there's the dirty bandage. The other one is a possibility, but I'm not sure. It's awfully far away from downtown, so it might not be worth the effort. Alright, so let's take some beta blockers, because she's getting stressed out. That's probably the, that's actually the hemophobic trait, I kind of forgot I had that. But, alright, let's eat something. Eat another yogurt, why not? Hmm. Alright, so we're back to reading our book while we're waiting. Surprised she hasn't gotten tired yet.
but I would really love to have an axe or, or so before we head out to where I'm thinking about heading out to, but that might not be possible at this point. Alright, there's the dirty bandage. Using up a lot of disinfectant, but I think it's probably okay. None of the other bad, potential bad things have, have set in yet, so I feel like that's a good sign. He said, hopefully. <laughs> Alright. Let's just eat this avocado. I know you can probably use that thing for cooking, but... Just trying to survive here, people. Just trying to survive. What is the weather outside? Is it still daytime? No, it is now getting dark. Okay. Still very surprised that she hasn't gotten sleepy yet. panel. Alright, I think maybe after the next time the, um, the bandage turns to bad bandage, we'll change it and then go to sleep. Does that seem reasonable? There it is. Alright, let's remove it. What's that of sheets, actually? It's the last one. Although actually we have, uh, since we have so much, we have available water, we could probably clean them. Yeah. There we go. Alright, let's just have her go to sleep. Experiencing too much pain to sleep. Okay. I forgot that they added that. We don't have any painkillers, do we? Maybe that's why, oh, we do have painkillers. There we go. Maybe that's why uh, why we weren't getting the sleepiness bug or uh, Moodle. Took some painkillers. Take more. Don't want to. Don't want to OD. Not that I'm sure. I'm not actually even sure that's possible. But I don't want to. Or is that enough? Can I sleep now? Yes. Yep. Yeah, it suddenly very tired. Just popped right up. As soon as we were asleep, so yeah, it must have been keeping the very tired thing from appearing. Yeah, dirty bandage. Alright, I think we escaped it. I feel like we would be showing symptoms of, uh... We'd be showing symptoms of zombification by now if it was going to hit us. And so I'm going to stop right here today, and we'll pick it up next time. Thanks so much for joining me.